Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and today we're starting a brand new Civilization VI Gathering Storm series. So, today we're going to be playing as Germany, which I think is kind of fitting, because right about the time this series goes live, me and my wife Emily are actually going to be in Germany ourselves. We are headed overseas with uh, a local church here, because we are uh, going to Germany to work with some refugees uh, who have been displaced by all the various wars in Africa and the Middle East and stuff like that. And so, I'm excited to do that for a couple reasons. Uh, number one, uh, I've never been to Europe before. Uh, the only other countries besides America that I have been to has been Canada, Mexico, and Jamaica. So to get over to Europe, I think is going to kind of open up my worldview a little bit. In addition, being able to help out uh, uh, refugees and listen to their stories and hear their life experiences, I think is really going to help break me out of my kind of Americanized bubble. So I'm excited for it. Um, but what it means for this current series is, you know, I'm going to be recording a lot of this series before I leave town. So any sort of responses to comments and stuff like that might be a little sketchy over the next couple weeks. Uh, in addition to that, I'm really, really hoping, because uh, I think the first part of the series I'm going to record before I leave and then I think like maybe the last few episodes will be when I get back I'm hoping my pronunciation of German cities are gonna be a hundred times improved we'll see we'll see but uh, probably don't get your hopes up on that but we'll see we'll see we'll see so I'm not running any mods I don't know if CQUI is working or not it might actually be working still um, the only reason I would want CQUI is for the uh, the policy reminders uh, everything else right now with uh, the base game yeah, I, I think works fine for us and so uh, we'll, we'll just run without it so we want to go ahead and play Germany oh one other thing to talk about so I talk about this pretty much every series right now but we are trying to get through all of the leaders I ended up playing as every leader before gathering storm came out but I didn't ever go back and actually uh, play them again so we could actually get the uh, the victories in the Hall of Fame. And I kind of did that on purpose. Number one, it was going to take a lot of time because I never saved the game post-victory. But then number two, uh, this just gives us a nice little opportunity to kind of uh, uh, play as all the civs a second time. And we can now see who we still need to play as. Now, the only condition I have is I'm trying to win as every civ uh, the second time time I'm trying to win a different way than we won the first time so for example first time we played as Germany we won a science victory because that's what Germany is good at second time through I'm gonna try winning as something completely different I think we're gonna go for a cultural victory I think I want to go for a cultural victory mostly because Germany I think is kind of underrated when it comes to culture they are right next to France they're near Spain they're near Italy and I think because of that you don't really think of Germany as like a cultural hub in Europe in real life but I kind of think that they're a little underrated in culture so I think that's what we're gonna be going for let's do low sea level I think everything else I'm good with I want to do new age just because I like the hills I always do abundant resources now just because I feel like there's never enough resources and that's our map uh, our map seed and uh, random seed and let's go ahead and hop in we could do a religious victory as well we could do diplomatic victory but having just done diplomatic victory a couple times I'm kind of like eh with it uh, Germany's bonus they give us an additional military policy slot so we could do a whole military one but I think that's too easy as Germany you know I think doing a culture one number one they're not getting any benefits towards the culture but then number two uh, I think it's just gonna be a little bit more of a challenge we will want to go ahead and combat any city-states that spawn near us because we get the extra combat strength uh, the u-boat is worthless it's essentially too late game uh, free Imperial cities is nice it gives us one more district which means we're gonna be able to get a theater square in every city as well as then maybe a Hansa and maybe even a campus uh, we might go heavy into science as well just to keep us up there or what's our start look like we do have a mountain over here or sorry a volcano over here which is good I'm tempted to go right here actually I think I want to go here so we can at least work the 2-2 from the get-go this way gives us the 2-2-1 though hmm what would be our second one so this isn't the best of starts. This is kind of a mediocre start, if we're going to be honest here. It's kind of mediocre. We got some other city locations. You're on a river as well. And that's a Plains Hill, not a Grassland Hill. So we got some potential city locations over here. These are all Grassland Hills. 
so not my favorite. These are Plains Hills, but this is on the volcano, and I don't really like to put my city center right on the volcano because it's going to get uh, whacked a couple too many times for us. Uh, I think I'm going to go here. That's going to give me the 2-2 early on, and we can buy out to that one. Also, it's going to give me a lot of the uh, tiles around this volcano. Yeah. Yeah. Defensively, this seems like a really good spot. Now, you're recommending here, which also is very good defensively, but, you know, I think this will be okay. I think this will be okay. So, we got the bonus for settling next to the uh, 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 the floodplains. Good. And then we're going to go the aggressive tree, our aggressive start, because that's pretty much exclusively what we have to do now. Uh, the barbarians are a little crazy still with that last patch. In addition, we just tend to get attacked a lot on Dady. So, I'm pretty much exclusively now just doing the same build order every time I play the game. Just to be safe. Okay, let's go expand. Lots of... Okay, tornadoes early on. Run away. <laughs> Please don't hit my warrior early on. That would just really suck. Because then I'd have to spend like 20 turns like uh, healing him. Okay, so we got some good locations over here. We can put a city here and then we can put a city up there on the coast. We'll probably put a city on the coast first, but you know. You know, just saying hypothetically in the future. Uh, do we have the yields? We do have all the yields on. Uh, the barbarians spawned over there, which is a little unfortunate. Are we making extra cash? We are making extra cash because we should be working you, yeah. So we are making one extra gold per turn, which is fine. We would like to get our Pantheon here early on, too. Because uh, the Pantheon gives you the Settlers now, which is one of my favorite Pantheons. Not going to send you around because I'm just going to send the Slinger that way. The downside... Hi. How screwed are we? Slightly screwed? The Pantanal. Pantanal. Okay. Hi. Delegation. This might not be too bad. This might not be too bad. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how much room they give us, but this might be a restart depending on... I need another warrior. I need another warrior, and then we're going to go settler. I need another warrior because we need to get the three warriors so Japan doesn't declare war on us. Uh, what's your thing, by the way? You like faith and culture output. So he will like us long term. But this might be a restart depending on how much room the game gives us. There's a lot of time where the game just, for whatever reason recently, they just don't give you enough spawn room. So you're just like, alright, I guess this is just, we're gonna die. Uh, because we're completely surrounded, so we'll see. If there are no dogs in heaven. No dogs in heaven. Where'd that barbarian come from? Must be up here still. He is right next to us. Maybe he killed him? Because he is leveled? Yeah, I don't know. Room seems to be okay. It really is going to depend on what it looks like down here. Alright. Screw you two, game. Screw you two, game. So you know what this means. This means that Scout immediately got back home. So in the first 13 freaking turns, we're getting completely surrounded by uh, barbarians. Wow. All right, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Ah, oh, man, new continent, that's great. That's a different continent right there, interesting. Hi, I need your help. That is best. I would love it if you attacked him and not me. But I'm pretty sure he's going to hit this guy. There's a small chance we live. There's a really good chance that we just straight die here. Yeah, I'm not feeling this one right now. Give me the combat strength. Oh, crap. I could have done that first. Ah, oh, dang it. We could have done a little bit more damage to him. We are in a very defensive spot. That's a plus six defensive. And hello, Barbarian. Hello, Barbarian Horde. Hello, freaking Barbarian Horde. This is great. Nothing like getting absolutely crapped on by Barbarians in the first freaking five minutes of the game. Oh, I hate you so much, game. So, you need to kill him off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're going to sit there and stay pretty defensive for the time being. I really need you to go find a second city location. I mean, obviously, we're probably going to want to go over there. I just want to see how much room we have down here because this is probably a restart. Or this is potentially a restart. You just heal up. It just, it really is going to depend on loyalty. And right now it looks okay. It looks okay. Pfft. 
Uh, when the game just hates you. When the game just hates you. We already boosted you, so I might make you an archer. So you should suicide into me. Are you effing kidding me right now? Like, how are you spawning this many units this quickly? How do I want to do this? I'm afraid if I attack, I'm going to get murdered. I think I'm going to go here and fortify. I think this is what we're going to do. We got our archery boost. Let's go grab mining. He should not be able to kill him because I think they only have a one attack range. All right, they have a two attack range. Are you freaking kidding me right now? So I have you there. I can upgrade you to an archer and hopefully we can get some kills off. I just opened that freaking encampment up to the AI. That was a dumb move. Dumb move. Dude, I think this is a restart just because these barbarians are annoying. This might just have to be a restart. You actually did not kill him. Okay, good. Good. Man, this is just like crazy stupid. You gotta run away, buddy. You gotta run away, buddy. And hopefully we can kill this guy off before he kills me. And we can't even put our second city down. You know what? Screw this. Screw this. Could we have pulled that out? Yeah. Is this fun? No. <laughs> like, let's just be honest. No. It's going to put us behind. We're not going to be able to move that settler out for another five or six turns. We lost one of our warriors, which means Japan's more likely now to declare war because our military is a little weaker. It's just like, it's just so freaking annoying. And I just don't understand the barbarians. Because here's the thing. Previous versions of the game, the barbarians wouldn't spawn that quickly. When the, the, the scouts would see your cities, they wouldn't instantly go back and by turn 10 you just have a barbarian invasion also too they seem to be spawning with extra units you know like how many freaking units was that that was like three horsemen and three horse archers that's a little crazy also screw you too game the Graham's now punishing me with desert it is now punished me with desert is this plain hill now it's a grassland hill one more one more we're going to take this next one no matter what. Once again, this is not a terrible spot, but there were not that many hills. And with the desert right there means the production in our capital is never going to be super great. Until, of course, we get the Hanza. So, yeah, the game was like, all right, you don't want to play this one? Then here you go. What's this one going to look like? I don't know. I don't know. We need to just start recording because I need a lot of episodes today. Which, by the way, probably going to try keeping these episodes a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, just so I can get enough episodes out for, uh, you know, the week I'm gone. Week and a half I'm gone. So, apologies ahead of time if these are a little bit shorter. Um, when I get back back well it kind of depends because since we're going to connecticut right after we get back you know it depends on how much time i have when we get back but we'll see we'll see we'll see all right yeah like i said we're taking this no matter what and this is a much better spot although i don't like spawning right on the volcano two volcanoes i think i put myself on the lake these are both grassland hills so they're both going to be uh two ones so i might as well go here and put the two one there We spawned with Torel, Torres del Plain. Okay. That works. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we could go right here right away. One, two, three. One, two, I'd be able to work this tile, this tile, this tile, this tile. I wouldn't be able to work anything on the other side of the volcano. You know, I got to go here, man. Work the four, work the two, three. What? Okay. I'm going to get hated on for freaking getting this start after we decided to restart. And then the double volcano bo bonuses as well. We freaking got a normal age instantly. 
<laughs> Should I do religion? I kind of almost want to do straight religious play because we got some killer holy sites. We could do a really good religion game. Nah, nah, we got to be culture. We got to do culture. We got to do culture. We got to do culture, man. We got to do culture. We got to do it. We got to do it. So give me the slinger. Uh, you should be working the food. Yeah, forget the 2-2. Two -two. Grow real quick. Yeah, grow first, and then you can work the 2-2. Two -two. I actually want to buy that tile, but I'm going to need, what, 50 gold, I think it is. Yeah. Like, oh. Uh, and what's great about this is I can actually put another city over here. Probably want to leave the plains and work, uh, just settle the wheat so that I can do lumber mills on both of those guys. And then the double goody, like, what is going on? Dude, we might not have a lot of room, but we're going to live with this no matter what. We're going to make it work. We might play, um, this might be a tall game versus a wide game, but we'll see. Bonus to mysticism. That sucks, actually, but we also got a second continent already? Dude, okay, this is a start. Uh, did I show the map random seed on this one? No, because I just restarted. Oh. All right, end of the episode. Let's go look at whatever the map random seed is. Oh, no, I got to like, oh, crap. Yeah, that sucks. Because to do the map random seed, I have to save the game, then I have to duplicate it and put in the multiplayer file and then load it up as a multiplayer game. Which I suppose I could start pulling up and stuff like that. I think those files are under... Uh, should be under my second hard drive. Because that's where all my Steam stuff is. Program files, no. No, I always forget where Steam is because I never access the files that much. There's Steam. Uh, Steam apps. Uh, common. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm going to show you guys this because you guys might want this. Civ 6. Uh, base. Would it be under DLC? Trying to figure out where the saves are. These are all, um, these are all, these aren't saves. Are the saves in a different location? The saves might be in a different location, actually. The saves might be on my main hard drive in that Steam folder. Now that I think about it, I bet that's where they are. I bet that's where they put all the saves. Steam apps. Common. Civ. Sorry, this is taking forever. Now, see, it's not here. Hmm. I might have to do it for the next episode. I'm going to look one more place really quick. And if I don't find it, then. Um, Steam apps. Common. It's not under any of that. I might have to do it at the beginning of next episode. Maybe I'll just put a call, pause in and then pop back in with, hey, this is what it is. DLC, debug, base, common, direct X. See, it's not any of that. Launch pad. Yeah, I'm going to have to find it. I'll put a pause in the episode. That's what we'll do. So Kumasi is over here. That's great because we're doing the culture. Um, someone else met you first, though. But still, I don't mind meeting uh, Kumasi early on. We might be able to get a golden age out of this, too. So we're going to want to go settle in that direction. Downside is we don't have a lot of room. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of room over here. And this map itself seems like we're a little trapped, no but I think this is okay. Uh, like, we might not be able to get down here. Like, this looks like it's just the ocean. So we're going to go that way. You are size three, so let's go hit the settler. Oh, man. And actually, hold up. We got the money. Go buy the two, three. Why are you going to grow to that tile? Why would you grow to that tile? What does that tile offer me right now? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to do a warrior first. Just on the off chance we find ourselves fighting someone. Ah, oh, it's Molly. Never mind. I'm not worried about fighting Molly. Molly is not that big of a problem. Uh, barbarian encampment. Okay, let's go here, block you off, grab that, and we're going to come hit the barbarians. Um, and in fact, I should send you over here so I can go clear you out. So we can get the bonus to archery. I got to remember to switch that off. Recon unit, that's not all that great, but okay. Gives me a little bit more military might. It does look like this is a dead end right here. Can I put a city down here? No. That's the only downside. 
Uh, but we do have a can... Oh, I can't canal because these are resources and this is hills. I can't canal out. No. No. F and heck. I can't canal this. Why? Or he got the volcanic tile. Oh my gosh, dude. Crazy good. Let's go this way just to get a little more exploration. We might be a little trapped in, but we're freaking keeping this map, man. We are keeping this map. We are keeping this. What are we at? 20 minutes? Okay. Okay. Go grab that. Hopefully keep boxing him out. Um, I'm going to go for foreign trade because we're already boosted. Give me the combat strength and give me the faith so we can get the free settler. Um, that's partly two while we're spawning out settlers right now. Yeah, I mean, we're a little trapped already. There's got to be room over here. If this island doesn't continue, we're in a really bad spot. We're in a really bad spot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please continue that way. Please continue eastward. Now, he should come out at me. Because that's generally what happens. Probably going to put you there. Got the kill. So we got the boost on archery. We got this. I don't know what that actually gave us. I didn't actually see what that one gave us. Probably a boost. Um, We did get a boost to irrigation at some point. We did get a boost to irrigation. And mysticism. So it probably was one of those two. Yeah, because we got mysticism, we got irrigation, and we got the scout. So that was our boost. Shooty. This is problematic. We do have room over there, though. This is not going to be terrible. Hi, I need to put you on the hill. He'll probably run home. I want to keep in the... He's going to take my freaking... Oh, my God, that sucks. He's going to actually take it. Probably. All right, you go this way. And you come that way. Dang it. How do you get 50 gold and I only get 30 gold? Piss off. Piss off. So I'm actually going to do this and trap his scout in. In hopes that his scout dies. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. You steal my encampment, now I'm going to let you die. Just throwing that out there, buddy. Just throwing that out there. So I can't settle anywhere over here, which sucks. Wait, what? He passed through me. BS. I call some BS there, man. I call some BS there. Freaking heck. Urgh. He's smarter than me, guys. He's smarter than me. He's smarter than me. All right, let's bring you up there, and we're going to bring you down that way. Another freaking um, tribal village, but not a lot of room still. Not a lot of room to settle. I forgot to send him a freaking... Oh, my God, envoy. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Hi! <laughs> Crap. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I got so caught up with everything else. I got actually caught up with these freaking uh, things here that I totally missed that. Mm, I'm going to maybe buy another warrior. One, two, because we only have two. Getting the third warrior should keep him off my back. Dude, we do not have enough room to settle. I, I cannot give up this start, though. This is too good of a start. Seriously, dude? Yeah, this was too good of a start to pass up. I'm going to bring you back and go level you up. With Toral's the plane, probably my favorite wonder, if not the best wonder in the game. To spawn with it right on top of us is just ridiculous. And then Kumasi as well. Oh my god, are you kidding? So we got one city. We got potentially four cities. We're gonna have to war. Yeah, we're gonna have to war to survive this. This sucks. This sucks. Alright, game. Screw you two. Screw you two. The nice thing is we're going to have that golden era, so we can go put a city pretty aggressively far forward. So we're going to do something like this. Um, I want you to upgrade. We have to put it, like, as far forward as possible. And, like, Kumasi also blocked out so much territory. Um, probably going to go all the way up here to the Plains Hills. One, two, three. Maybe these. Maybe right there on the coast. It's got cliffs all the way around, so it's pretty defensive. 
So he's actually in that direction too. Hmm. Keep popping out settlers. There might be other islands near us as well. Yeah, there might be other islands near us. Worst case scenario, we just have to fight Molly, which like, let's be honest, Molly's not one of the harder civs in the game to fight. They tend to be a little on the weak side. Upgrade you. Uh, you're gonna move here. You're gonna stick together. We are going to buy a warrior as soon as we have the option. Did we? We didn't settle any resources, right? We don't have anything to trade you. Now. Now, what is? You just like people that make money. Which. Not quite what we're doing. Who deserves more credit? Not quite what we're doing. Oh, <gasps> potential, potential. Okay, we're not screwed yet. We're not screwed yet. We might have to go straight for shipbuilding, which is a little awkward, to be honest. Uh, I like grabbing bronze working just so we can see potential city locations. Uh, let's go get you going over here. Yeah. I kind of almost want to buy open borders from him. He won't like me with the open borders, though. Uh, foreign trade gives me the joint war. I think we will go early empire right away. Lives by. All right, we know what we have to do. You see what I have to do, right? I can't let him take it. I can't let him settle another city in this direction. That's just not feasible for us. So I'm gonna go here. He probably is trying to put a city over here. Most likely he's trying to put a city over here. If I can steal that, we're in a much better spot. Um. You're already having loyalty issue. I think let's just go up here on the lake. For now. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. But you kind of left me with no choice. You kind of left me with no choice. You kind of left me with no choice. Are we going to be able to survive this? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a very good question. All right, let's take you here. Let's take you here. Let's take you here. Yeah, man, this sucks, dude. So I would rather settle here. Uh, that's just planes. That's going to be a 2-1. We could then settle across. No, we can't. I think I need to put this other city. I don't know. I still like the idea of putting a city over here. The double warrior should be able to be uh, okay. I just need to get him back. We just need to survive. I just need to do as much damage as possible right now. So swap you. Let's bring you this way. And let's get the archer because this archer could really help me right now. And I might just retreat. Yeah, we might just want to retreat back. Because if I put him here, he's probably going to go here to chase this guy down. Unless they duel this guy. Either way, uh, I will move him here. Then he's going to come here. Then I put my guy there. He'll probably go there and then I can start shooting him. And he's going to be at low enough HP that we can start doing some damage. Um, I need units. I need to buy a unit. Unfortunately, I can't yet. One, two, three, four. I think we are going to go for right there. And then we have city-states all, all around us, which... Hmm. He did go for the double hit. That is acceptable. Let's not have you run in the wrong direction like you were trying. Let's do this. I'm trying to get back in my border so I can heal up a little bit quicker. Honestly, these guys are low enough that my archer should just be able to wreck them. Okay, so then you're going to come here. You're going to run here. Yeah, because we just go in the city over here. You have some loyalty issue. We'll be in a normal age. Did you meet anyone else? You have met one other person. He might be in a normal age. He might not. I could put you there because then we'll also have the river crossing. Plus then this is a forest. So that's going to be a plus eight defensive. Because it's plus five and then plus three. So then my melee strength on my archer is going to be at uh, 15 plus eight. So that's going to be 20, uh, uh, 23. 
and he's gonna be severely reduced because of his HP problem. They're at 24 right now, but they're probably at at least negative four because of their HP. I think this is worth it. Ah, it's Brazil, of course it's Brazil. People that love surprise wars. All right, well, we're not gonna have enough room. That's fine. Did he not attack me? Oh, it's still the same turn. I was like, did he not come at me? He did not come at me. Well, that's interesting. Piss off, Barbarian Encampment. All right, well, we're gonna hold the line there. Come up here. Go there. Yeah, we are very trapped in, but we are gonna play this stall then. We're definitely gonna play this stall. And we're gonna hope that you're gonna be okay. If nothing else, you should be fine from the standpoint of, 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 uh, we have governors in not too many turns. Um, also, we're in a normal age, and it's highly unlikely he's gonna have a golden age. As it turns out. Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay. Dang it, dude. So close to the golden age ourselves. So close. Oh, I gotta wrap this episode up. I talked about wrapping freaking episodes up, and then here I am playing too freaking long. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you uh, think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Yeah, we remembered, but it was a couple uh, episodes later. Um, I'm trying not to look up there because I don't want to see who's actually in this game, but there's your random seed. There's your map random seed. So negative uh, three zero zero two zero nine six four three, and then four two for the random seed. So there you go and I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.